here's how I'm doing lumbar punctures with quink cutting needles. This video is for you. I'm Siobhan Walia, EM attending. Let's talk lumbar punctures. Here are the two major types. We have the conventional cutting needle or the quink. As you can see, this looks like a scalpel on a stick. And then you have the atraumatic pencil point needles like the Sprott or Whitaker. You can see how the cutting needle is designed to slice through tissue and cuts through the dural fibers, whereas the atraumatic needles are designed to gently separate and split the dural fibers instead. So which do you choose? For almost every routine adult or pediatric lumbar puncture, the atraumatic needle is your default. Cutting needles still work, but they're mostly needed for when you absolutely need to feel that pop or your hospital's living in the 1990s. And what's the most common complication? Hint, it has everything to do with your needle choice. A massive meta-analysis with 110 randomized control trials and over 30,000 patients found that the atraumatic pencil point needle reduced the risk of post-dural puncture headaches by 60%. Translation, the quink cutting needle is 2.5 times more likely to make your patient's headache worse than when they came in. But if you're not convinced and you must use a cutting needle, make sure that your bevel is parallel to the dural fibers. It will lower the post-dural puncture headache risk. Not enough, but lower. But what if I just use a cutting needle and have the patient lay flat afterwards? According to a Cochrane review of 24 trials, there was no benefit to prolonged bed rest after a lumbar puncture. Last, size of the needle. 22 gauge and 25 gauge needles are less likely to cause headaches. So the move is simple. For your next lumbar puncture, pick the atraumatic pencil point 22 gauge needle. Now throw this cutting needle away and go crush that shift.